Do you like fishing or camping? Many people in the building industry enjoy the great outdoors and time in our beautiful environment. But did you know that what happens on your building site can directly and indirectly impact our environment? Waste on a building site is generally made up of timber offcuts, sawdust, plastic wrappings, aluminium trimmings, broken glass, and so on. Litter on a building site is often made up of aluminium cans, pizza boxes, cigarette butts, paper wrapping, plastic cups, empty bottles, and other items that were not disposed of correctly, but simply thrown away by workers. This litter can find its way into our environment if we don't dispose of it quickly and correctly. Many builders use mesh cages to contain smaller sized waste and ordinary litter, and skip bins for building waste. Building waste can mostly be recycled, but litter needs to be handled separately. State and local laws require a building site to be kept clean in order to protect the environment. Under the Environmental Protection Act, on-the-spot fines for having litter on a site range from $200 to $1,000. Heavy fines are also applicable if any waste material from the site, such as smoke, exhaust fumes, chemicals, solvents or litter, pollute the air, water or soil. Rather than having to pay fines for offences against the Environmental Protection Act, it makes better sense for builders to maintain a clean, tidy, litter-free site. There are two systems that take away liquid waste from a property, the sewage system and the stormwater system. Disposing of toxic material or rubbish into either system can incur a huge fine. The sewage system takes contaminated liquid, such as sewage and grey water, from the building site to a treatment plant. The stormwater system consists of a network of drains that carry rainwater and runoff into the creeks and rivers and eventually into the sea. Many of our rivers are already in trouble, with some, for example the Darling River, in danger of dying. Overuse of water for irrigation, contamination from septic tank seepage, salinity and the effects of prolonged drought have had a disastrous effect on our rivers and the plant and animal species that depend on them. The last thing our waterways need is the additional problem of building waste and garbage entering the river systems and the ocean through stormwater drains. The types of pollutants that can flow from building sites to the stormwater drains are sawdust, paint, liquid waste, concrete dust and slurry, sand and solid wastes. Every building site should have systems in place to prevent stormwater runoff. Make sure you follow the procedures to capture waste and dispose of it properly. Many building sites have existing vegetation. Plants and trees take time to grow and can be expensive to replace. Some mature trees cost thousands of dollars to replace. Plants, trees and grasses are part of an ecosystem and animals and insects depend on them to survive. They also beautify the environment surrounding the building. So it makes sense to avoid damaging them unnecessarily. Avoid trampling small trees, bushes and plants. Take care if you need to access garden beds. Park your vehicle so as to avoid damaging the surrounding area. Thank you.